the advanced light helicopter ALH Dhruv is a multi-role aircraft. It can carry out various missions, for example, a troop induction and deinduction, casualty evacuations, surveillance missions. It also works and trains in tandem with other variants of the aviation assets like Cheetal and RPAs. The entire aim is to have a synergy between not only various aviation assets but also with the ground formations. The aviation squadron here regularly practice with the various formations so that the one plan can come out and the role is understood by one and all during the operations. So, uh, Lee is the core headquarters and important base for the entire, entire area forward. So, how many do you have now? You talked of people, you talked of the ALS, so broadly, how many units? Right. We have three units in our brigade. Uh, the present unit where you are is taking care of the ALH, the other unit is taking care of the Cheetahs, and the third unit is taking care of the RPAs. We have trained technical manpower to look and take care of uh, these assets, maintain these assets, and they have their own technical proficiencies in the particular variant. How difficult is it to maintain schedule? Because you have a specific task for that area. How, how unique is that, that task? The maintenance is challenging. The spare movement from the rear echelon to here is itself is a big task. During the winter time, when the road closure takes place during the snow, then the only available uh, effort is from the air. And then these spare parts from here are further moved to our vehicles, the Siachin base camp, and then further to the coast. So it's a challenging task for not only us, but also for our formations, where we are getting all the support necessary to maintain this. But yes, it's a machine, complex machine, Challenges are there and we are there to fight it.